Hi right, everybody, welcome to RC4B Man, and on this episode we'll be having a look at my gold highlights with the one with the black bonnet. And uh, I, the tire choice that I made on that originally, I went for the scale look, so they were quite narrow, they looked good, but um, I was lacking in traction, so uh, I actually did a swap from the red cruiser, took the deep dish sun rages and the trilugs off the cruiser and put it on the Hilux, and then did a swap back the other way, uh, put the narrows onto the cruiser, and I thought that'll sort of fix the problem. Well, as it turns out, it turned out to be a great choice for the Hilux. Uh, unbelievable amount of grip and it handled really, really well. It was just absolutely great. But the choice for the Cruiser was, yeah, it's not enough grip when you start getting into the serious stuff. There's not enough support in the tie walls. So I do have another set of wheels up there, normal style sun radio, so I may end up putting them on with some pro lines or something. But anyway, so... After I'd done that and I realised just how good these tyres were in performance and they looked bloody neat. So I thought, well, I might go out and do a bit of a run with the uh, Hilux and see what it trails like because it is my best trail truck that I've got and uh, it's also my recovery vehicle. So um, I took it out and um, had a bit of a play with it to see how it performed with these wider tyres and uh, might I say it's just transformed the car. Um, so anyway, sit back and enjoy and uh, check out the vid that I put together and um, and uh, that way you can sort of like um, see sort of how it goes with all the suspension and everything. It's um it's weighted. It's uh, five point two kilos, so that's why you'll probably see it like well and truly acting like an actual real four wheel drive. So anyway, sit back, relax, and check this out.
So there you go. Tell me what you think if you get the chance in the comments or, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the way that it travels. It, it is really, really travelling well right now. Uh, I don't think there's much more I've got to do to this. It's taken a fair while to get it to finally be the end story. You never really sort of finish a truck off. There's always something else that you'd like to try or do. So, But the Hilux, that's pretty close to being exactly how I want it to be. So now I'm just going to do a bit of work on the Red Cruiser. So um, the usual, don't be afraid to reach out if you're feeling a little bit down. Uh, look after your family, look after your friends. Ask the question, you know, some people uh, being asked the question, hey, how are you going, is actually something that they probably love to hear. You know, that uh, you don't know really until you ask. There's no harm in asking. So if you notice a difference with one of your friends or a family member or something like that there that they don't seem quite right, well, ask the question, hey, you doing okay? And then if they say, yeah, you know, well, you just take it from there. But if they say, well, actually, I'd really love to have a good old chat, excellent. Because that, you know, you're going to be helping them to sort of share a bit of their their sort of like things that they're going through and, and, and it does help. So anyway, yeah, so look in your friends, look in your family, make sure everyone's doing okay. I blew it with the last video with the kids helpline number up here. I've made sure it was there, but it wasn't there. So anyway, that's my bad. But it'll be on the end of all the videos from here on now with the other ones, it'll be up here. So uh, the usual, um, if you haven't got pen and paper, just come back to almost most of my videos now and just sort of pause it there and you'll have those numbers and um, don't be afraid to reach out. All right, I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, really happy with me, Hilux. And we'll see you for the next one. Um, take care. RC4V man. See you next time, guys. Hey everyone, RC Forby Man back again at the end. It seems when I went once again to put up the kids' helpline up across here, uh, I can't. That's what happened with the last video. It didn't appear on there and I thought it was weird. However, it's probably a safety thing that's built into the system to make sure that kids are safe. So I don't seem to be able to put the number up. However, hopefully I won't get myself in trouble, but I'll say the number out there. So the number for kids' helpline is one 800 55 one eight hundred. So that number again, one eight hundred five five one eight hundred. Now that number there, that's for if if you're a young fella, if you're a young girl, um, if you're a teenager, and even if you're in your early twenties and you're, you know, and you're a little bit nervous. There's people out there just like an adult that can help you with things like anxiety and depression, and you know, there might, there's lots of peer pressure and you know things like that. So. I can't put the number up, but that's the number. So at least you can come back to this. I will do an episode on uh, so integrating the rock crawlers and, you know, the kids side of things. Uh, but I won't get into it too much because I haven't done enough research to make sure that anything that I did say, I obviously want it to be correct. So anyway, that's the number. Yeah, just once again, one 800 55 And that's the kids' helpline. So if you have, for, for any reason that you just need to just, just sort of shout out to somebody, and you're not sure how to go about it, give them a call. And that's what they do. They're there to help you out. So I'll see whether there's something that I can do to in future put it up there. If not, and if this has appeared, hopefully that means that it's okay for me to have said the number and we'll just go from there. So, okay, leave you with it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. See you next time. RC4B man.